everyone, so this tutorial today is a really, really gorgeous purple eye. I absolutely love purple. I did an answers, uh, questions and answers video and I said my favourite colour was blue. I totally have changed my mind. It is definitely purple now, especially since I found the most perfect purple ever. Um, so it's just a gorgeous, pretty simple actually, um, purple eye. A uh, bit of a contoured face and then like a lavender or pinky purpley lip. Um, so yeah, keep on watching if you want to know how to do this. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye! So to start this tutorial off with, I'm using Painterly Paint Bath by MAC. And I'm just applying that all over my lid, right up to the brow and underneath my eyes, just to prime. And then for the highlight, I'm using this gorgeous duochrome colour by MAC. I really can't remember the name of it, I'm really sorry. But you just want to go for something that's got like a purpley, bluey uh, and white sort of shimmer to it. Then I'm using Beautiful Iris by MAC. And it's a gorgeous um, sort of lilac, shimmery um, purple. And I'm blending that right under the highlight colour. and pulling it down a little bit. And then with a flat brush, I think it's a concealer brush actually, I'm using this gorgeous, gorgeous purple which is by, I think it's NUA, it's a super drug um, brand and it's really cheap. This eyeshadow cost me one pound. And as you can see, I'm just applying that all over my immediate lid and then I'm using a fluffy kind of pointed dome brush just to um, blend that up and out. And then I, I think I've moved on to the other purple colour and I'm just blending it right up into that other purple colour um, and then into the highlight. So using a flat brush I'm taking the purple that was all over the lid and I'm just applying that underneath as close to the little tiny lashes as possible and then that gorgeous gorgeous sparkly black um, and I'm applying in the crease. This is just to really give the um, eye a bit of depth so you've got a bit of darkness in the outer corner there and um, with this, once again, with that dome brush, I'm just blending this up and into the uh, center of the eye. And we'll also use that flat brush just to apply a tiny, tiny little bit on the outer edge of the um, lower lash line again, and just to blend that up and out again, um, just to keep it seamless. So using a little bit of black track fluid line and an angled eyeliner brush from Crown Brush, I, um, I'm applying it on my waterline and then also tight lining um, my eyes with it just so I get a really, really black, black, intense look. And for the eyeliner today, I'm not actually going for a winged look. I'm just keeping it super, super, super natural, close as possible to the lashes. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a little bit of that black eyeshadow again. So next I'm just applying some foundation and I'm just using my fingers just to warm the product up and really let it sink into my skin. What look would not be complete without my uh, false eyelashes. So here I'm just applying my um, Ardell Wispies with dual glue. I find it much easier to use tweezers these days so feel free to try with tweezers. <laughs> And then um, just to make sure I get rid of any blue spots, I'm just using a little bit of black track fluid line again. And then of course a bit of mascara just to blend my natural lashes in with the falsies. And just because I feel like I'm a little bit shiny, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a powder all over my face. Just to stop it from shining but just to still keep it nice and fresh looking. Next I'm contouring my um, face. I'm going to do my hairline as well which I never really do but I fancied it today. And also under my lip because I feel like I want nice big pouty lips. Um, and for the first time ever, I've contoured my nose. <laughs> so next I've used, I think it's called Dainty by MAC. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous mineralized um, blush. And then just on top of that, I'm using a little bit of a highlighter. Now this little technique is a great way of reshaping your lips. If you get foundation on them, take a wet wipe or a Q-tip or anything like that and take the foundation off but give it a nice shape. So I'm just using a lip pencil. I really don't know what colour this is but it is in a light pink as you can see. I'm overdrawing my top lip so that it gives a more of a pouty look. And then I'm just going to go over that with a really, really gorgeous um, lavender lipstick. Now this is one of the slim lines from MAC, so please be, feel free to go and have a little look. I don't actually know the name of this. 
and then just to gloss it up a little bit of a sleek pout pot and that is the look people it's very dewy very glowy um super super sort of iridescent i absolutely love it and um i just i can't get over how amazing this purple eyeshadow is and it was only a pound from superdrug it's gorgeous so i hope you guys have enjoyed this look please try it out and send me a picture on facebook and big kisses